Hi everybody, it's Diane. I just wanted to share my milk glass with you. I got some this weekend from some yard sales and then I went out the other day to some thrift stores and I found some. And um, I'm not really quite sure if some of them are real milk glass or not. Um, but for me, I, it didn't really matter because I like the pieces, so it didn't matter if they are really milk glass or not. And I do remember back in the day, um, milk glass, a lot of these, um, like this one here, this is a vase, um, you would get flowers come in them. And matter of fact, this here, this vase, um, it's pretty big. Um, this one and then this one here whoops sorry that one and as a matter of fact that one I got um let me show let me go back this one here I got from Goodwill and it was three dollars and it was a mess it was really dirty inside sorry and I cleaned it up with some soap and water put them all in my tub and they came out really, really good. And I'm not sure if you're supposed to do this, but it, like I said, to me it didn't matter because I'm not reselling them anyway. But I did get one of those bleach. Um, they're Mr. Clean, I think it is. It's like a bleach sponge. And I got that and scrubbed parts of it that had some stains, especially on the inside. And it's like crystal clear now on the inside. So anyway, that one was $3 at Goodwill. And then I got this other one at Goodwill, this one here, for $2. And this one, I'm not sure if it is milk glass. Um, the bottom doesn't have any signature or anything but I really did love love this and this is going to go perfect on my desk with some um, buttons or something like that in it so that I love and the first one that I showed you let me go back to this one again this actually was from on the bottom it says EO Brody and Company and they were located in Ohio and um, they sold to florists and florists would use these um, with their, you know, making their flower arrangements and stuff. And I do remember back in the day when people did get flowers, like when we were in the hospital having our kids, we would get um, flowers in, in these type of glass vases. Very, very cool. So anyway, that one. And then this one here, I also got. Um, let's see, this one I got at a thrift store and it was $2. And I've seen it on eBay. I did go online and look at it and um, it's going anywhere from $7 to $20. So I didn't think that was too bad for $2. And again, I cleaned it up and it looks crystal clear. And um, so these two pieces I do know are real milk glass. Love those. And then I did get this piece here. This I got at a thrift store for a dollar. And again, I don't know if it's real milk glass or not. But I do have a collection of these creamers in depression glass that I collected. I think I have about seven or eight pieces. And um, they're packed away. But as soon as I can get to them, I am planning on redoing this shelf let me show you here this shelf here I'm going to redo and get rid of all my little containers and put like my I have um, my creamers that are like I said depression glass and then I also have Fenton glass shoes that were my grandmother's my mother's and some I bought and I want them to go on the shelf also and make some pin cushions I think that will look really pretty so that's the plan for that. So this was really cute. I didn't think it was that bad for a buck. Then this piece here, this was the most expensive piece. I paid $4 for it. I don't know if it's real milk glass. It is, um, I just love the style of it. And it's got a nice dish, you know, inside. It's uh, kind of, I don't know, it's about maybe an inch and a half, two inches deep. So I thought that was really pretty. Then this one here I got for, I believe this was 50 cents. Whoops, I'm not, not focus. This one here, and I and I don't know if this one is real milk glass or not, but 
I just love this dish and this will definitely go on my desk so that one I love okay now these two are the two that I got over the weekend at a yard sale this one here it's huge um, not sure if it's real milk glass or not there's no markings uh, let's see but it's it's huge it's really really deep and I just loved it anyway and now I'm thinking I was going to put all of these on my desk but now I'm thinking about collecting some more and putting them in my kitchen so if you saw my kitchen video I think I'm going to put some up above my cabinets and then this is the last one and this one doesn't have a, it doesn't look like it has a marking it's got this little tiny um, bump down here. I thought it was a W if it was Westmoreland, but I can't tell that it is. So I'm not sure. I don't really think so, but it does have that grape leaf pattern. So I'm not sure if it's, you know, a remake or what, or if it really is milk glass, but it does look like it to me, but you know, I'm not an expert in any way. And I cleaned this up as well, and they all look sparkling new. So this one I paid $3, and the other one that I got at the, um, well, one of these I paid $3, and one of them I paid $2, and I'm not sure what I paid for each one of them. So, anyway, um, not bad. So this one actually was a dollar, I forgot. This is the one. No, no, this was, was, this was 50 cents. I got this at, um, and let me tell you something, when I went to Goodwill, it was really funny because there were two people in there. One of them had gotten some dishes and she was talking to another lady and she was on her phone looking up the information from what was ever written on the back of it. And it, and it did look like a milk glass. And I was like, oh, darn, if I was just there a little bit earlier. <laughs> but no, you win some, you lose some. But they were really excited. So, And I overheard them saying that um, it was worth a lot. So whatever they got was worth a lot. And then I also saw another lady in Goodwill. She was checking out the jewelry. And she had one of those little eye things, you know, that you can, like, um, you know that you could see close up and she was checking out all the markings on the jewelry so that was really interesting to see I guess um, people who are collectors you know go to thrift stores and know how to find things anyway I was happy with my milk glass whatever is milk glass or whatever isn't milk glass I'm happy with it and um, if you're interested in getting milk glass I would recommend that you, if you want real milk glass, that you learn a little bit about it first because you will wind up with pieces that are not milk glass that you might think are. Um, for me, like I said, I'm not going to collect it to sell it, so it really didn't matter. But now I am curious to know what pieces I have are, just out of curiosity's sake, what, what is and what isn't. Now I know if something is marked Fenton, I am very familiar with Fenton glass, although a lot of their, some of their things do not have a marking, but I am a little bit familiar with Fenton, and um, Westmoreland is another brand, if it has a W on the bottom, although some of their pieces as well are not marked. So it's really, really hard to tell what's milk glass and what isn't, to me anyway, because I don't really know much about it. But I, like I said, I am curious, and I think I will go to the library and get some books out, just so I can, um, when I am out on yard sales, I can keep my eyes open. All right, well, thanks everybody for watching, and ta-ta for now.